UAV game a few years ago. Just tell me about how easy it felt out there for you today and, and how cool that is. Uh, yeah, no, I thought we had a really good plan, you know, for their defense. Uh, we, we knew how they were going to play against us, and we attacked what uh, we thought were their weaknesses. Um, but no, I thought our wide receivers had, you know, a really good day. We have so many athletes on the field, and they went out there and made plays. I mean, there's a few guys wide open out there that make, makes my job really easy. So you know, I, thought, I thought we had a really good day as offense. How important is a game like this for you to be able just to build chemistry with your receivers and your back tailbacks? Yeah, I mean, every, every game we play is important. Um, and I'll continue to stress this and say this, that they, I mean, it's never about the opponent, whether it's team A, B, or C. Um, it's, it's always about us and us playing to our standard. Um, and obviously, I'm on the offensive side of the ball, so how can the offensive, offense play to our standard every single week, weekend, week out, whether that's practice, game? Um, you know, I, th I, thought we, I thought we did well. Um, I think there's some things that we can go back, watch film, and fix. Um, but no, I, thought, I thought we had a, a good uh, game. And what as about Trevor Etienne's debut for you guys? Obviously, the leading rusher for you, just to see him back after suspension. Yeah, no, I um, thought he had a great day, you know, uh, he's very capable back, uh, a lot of talent there, uh, excited to see, you know, as, as the offense progresses and as he progresses, and it's our system, what, what he's able to do. As far as, like, depth is concerned with the receivers, is this maybe one of the deepest ones you've seen since you've been here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say so. As far as I look out there, I'm, I'm not really worried about who's out there, you know, it, it could be a, a two, quote unquote. Um, I don't know if there's really ones and twos, twos and ones. You know, I think there's a lot of guys that are capable out there that can go out there and make our offense explosive. Uh, Carson, last week you guys were kind of criticized because of the slow start to the first half against Clemson, but this week how refreshing was to have that fast start and, and get off to a really strong start? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, defense goes out, gets three and out. Um, we get a huge palm return down to the, I don't even know, yard line, 20, 25. Um, and we take a shot at the end zone, we complete it. Um, it always, always makes it a little bit easier when you go out there and, I mean, score on the first play as, you know, offensive possession. But no, it was good to go out there and start fast and follow that up with the second drive. As Before well. halftime, you guys decided to stay out there and go for that drive. Um, was there anything to that? Was it just getting those live reps in? Or? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, we're going to treat every game the same. Like I said earlier, you know, we're going to try to go to our standard. It probably wasn't the best uh, drive that we had, you know, concerning a two minute before the half. It's always good to get those type of reps. You don't know when those situations are going to come up in big games. Uh, but no, I, I think we can go back and really, really learn from that and improve in that area, you know, two minutes before the half. What did you say about your defense performance only playing on the three points at that very end right there? Well, yeah, it's back-to-back -back weeks, you know, only three points. Uh, like I always say, I hate playing against our defense. I have to go against them for 21 days straight during fall camp, and it's a miserable time. Uh, but no, I'm obviously super proud of our defense. Um, I think they're really talented. We have some really talented players, but also really good coaches that put our players in the best position possible, a really good scheme that I think just confines offenses that are trying to play against us. So no, super proud of them, and it obviously makes our job a lot easier when our defense uh, handles an offense like that. Two weeks. Is there any chance that you're like, I want to get that six TD so bad to, to take it? Like, do you ever think about that? Like you wanted to do that? Oh, no, I could care less. Um, whether we run it in six times, whether I throw it six times, um, a, a win is a win. That's, you know, week two, we're one and zero again. So uh, we'll watch the film, we'll get better, and then we'll move on to the next week. Two weeks and two touchdowns with Colby. And what did you say to him after you, you looked like you came up and said something about the route he ran? Uh, what, how'd you guys build this chemistry so fast? Um, yeah, you know, it's just reps in the off season. Um, I was actually trying to check the, uh, I was trying to check the play, um, and then he didn't. He ran the original play, which is ultimately ended up working, which is kind of funny. Um, but no, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's a really talented guy. Obviously, last week the touchdown, this week the touchdown again. I think we have a lot of talent in that wide receiver room, and you know, he's just one of the guys that's in there. So. In a game where Thorson barely even wants him going at him once, do you have some fun with him, or does he come up to you kind of joking with like, dude, just let me have one time? Well, yeah, I think I think the like on running joke is is that like you know the, the quarterback and the punter hate each other, especially. I told him, well, my goal is to never have him, you know, come on the field. You know, I want to obviously you want to end every uh, drive and a kick, whether it's a punt or an extra point or a field goal. Um, you don't want to turn the ball over, but my goal is to never have Brett Thorson, you know, get on the field. Obviously, he got out there today, but it wasn't in my doing, so I still counted that I haven't let him play. You know, I told him at the beginning of the year he wasn't going to play at all, so, yeah, no, it's funny. You get to see your old friend next week. You get to go to Brock's. Have mm -hmm. you all been texting about the game, and, and just kind of what do you think about how he played a week ago? Watch uh, I haven't even watched a game, uh, but no, I mean, we talk, we talk every now and then. I haven't gotten the opportunity uh, to talk about, you know, next week with him. Um, I'll probably give him a little text this week. I think he's playing right now, um, so probably go watch the rest of that game. Obviously, rooting for him is a great friend of mine, um, but maybe not too much. Next week. <laughs> Knowing how you think, think I'm, I'm assuming that, that that one minute uh, offense, I guess you're going to be 40 something uh, left on the clock to end the half, is, is what stuck in your mind a little bit about uh, who didn't go to the Um Yeah, no, I mean, I think, yeah, I think that's. That drive is something that we can go back and watch a uh, film on and improve in that area. I wouldn't say that it's stuck on my mind, though. No. Um, 
I mean, we, we move on fast. You know, we're, we're moment to moment, play by play. And uh, we came back in at the half. We, we recognized what we did, where we messed up, where we made errors. And then we came out second half, two touchdowns immediately. Um, it's more about how you can respond to that stuff. I won't say it's stuck in my head. Gunner got in today. Just talk about just how you've seen him grow in the past, uh, you know, month from fall camp to this point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, his overall growth, you know, has has been amazing. Uh, I think even when coming in, he was so talented, you know, what he's able to do with his legs, and then you pair that, you know, with his arm strength and the mental capabilities. Um, really excited to see him, you know, continue to develop, um, you know, as he, you know, starts to step into that role after this year. Carson, what does it do for you to have so many different receivers that, that you can count on them and can play big roles in this offense? Yeah, I think it makes my job really easy. Um, not that being a quarterback is easy by any means, but, you know, as long as uh, I keep my, you know, mental processing right and I'm in the right place with the ball, we can count on guys to be open and be in the right spot at the right time. So, you know, having having that talent definitely makes my job a little bit easier. Carson, you've 